There is no life I know to compare with watching Willy Wonka. Wow, that hit the cadence perfectly. And yes, I realize that this is a Riddler cane. Shh, shh enough. y'all doing ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very very special movie review today i thank you so much for clicking on the video first off i really hope you enjoy your stay but guys <laughs> i am so excited to bring this video to you because we're talking about one of my all-time favorite films willy wonka and the chocolate factory as you all know this was of course based off of the classic novel by roald dahl starring gene wilder as the eccentric candy maker himself but you guys may be wondering hey zach why review this movie today? Well, I'm glad you asked. Today is this film's 50th anniversary. Holy hell, where did all the time go? And this film follows a sweet boy named Charlie Bucket from a poor family who dreams of finding one of five golden tickets. And these things are hidden inside chocolate bar wrappers, which will admit him to the eccentric and reclusive Willy Wonka's magical factory. Which, you know, of course he finds the golden ticket. Where have you been? Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, this video is going to be filled with spoilers. So just in case you've never read the book, never seen the movie, I fairly warned you we're gonna geek out about this movie today because this honestly is and i'm not even joking when i say this i do think this is one of those movies that you should all watch before you die just like any ordinary candy bar willy wonka and the chocolate factory really is that good and it had such a huge influence on me wanting to get into the entertainment industry as a kid yeah this isn't gonna be one of your ordinary reviews guys i'm gonna be gushing about this film quite a bit this movie is directed with so much energy by mel stewart the musical numbers are all choreographed to perfection Everything just flows so seamlessly in here. And the movie's runtime is fairly short for musical standards of the time, especially when you compare it to Fiddler on the Roof, which came out in the same year. But Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory always flies by. Anytime I pop this Blu-ray in, it's over before you know it. It's so fast-paced. And everything feels so important. The stakes are always super high for all these characters. You definitely feel that seeping through these performances, which I'll get to in a second. But while I'm on the subject, I gotta talk about these songs, because they're just damn near perfect songs. Let's just say that this was nominated for Best Original Score at the Oscars for damn good reason. Just go and listen to them again. They're all so memorable, too. You got the Candyman can, I Want It Now, the Oompa Loompa lessons. The list goes on and on. And I will admit, I have used pure imagination for a few auditions here and there. And I gotta say, on this rewatch, I... <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit this, I kind of got teary-eyed at I've Got a Golden Ticket. It's not only because I was so happy with Goosebumps that Charlie actually achieves the impossible, but I just have so much nostalgia with that song. That was always my favorite scene growing up, and I can't quite put my finger on as to why that is specifically. Maybe it's an abundance of things, maybe it's just the warm goofiness of Grandpa Joe himself. His singing voice may not be the strongest there, but... <sighs> You just feel that character so perfectly there. Grandpa Joe, of course, was played by the late Jack Albertson, and I thought he was masterful in this. This is for sure who I think of when I think of Grandpa Joe. He's inspiring, but he's also quite stubborn. Lots of very real character traits. And I have the same sentiment towards Charlie, played by the debuting Peter Ostrom. Again, I don't really feel like this kid got enough credit back in the day. And yeah, that's especially when you compare this performance to whatever Freddie Highmore was doing in the remake. This kid is a lot more relatable because he feels a lot more realistic. There's moments where he'll get sad, angry, greedy even. But he retains every aspect that should keep Charlie a heroic figure. And Peter Ostrom really did wonders with this character making us relate to him not only that but also getting behind him and all the other kids are fantastic as well i want to give particular praise to a couple of them specifically julie don cole as veruca salt my god just the right amount of snooty and roy kinnear submitting to her every demand was just it's glorious chemistry i'm wanting now you know who else i don't think gets enough credit for his work Paris Themen is Mike TV. He had a lot of dialogue and he had to spout it off at breakneck speed. I can only imagine what would have happened if Mike TV grew up. Maybe he becomes a TV or movie film critic on YouTube. 
But last but not least, guys, you can't go on with a Willy Wonka video without talking about Gene Wilder's Golden Globe nominated turn. Now, I know a lot of people love his work in the Mel Brooks material like Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, but Wilder, rest in peace, I would argue this was your greatest performance. Wilder really got to explore so much range with this character. Willy Wonka himself is truly an enigma. You never fully understand what's going on in his slightly demented brain until the last possible moment. There's so much range. He can turn from a showman and a wisecracking tour guide, and then he can turn into someone resembling a Bond villain. Yeah, if you guys need further proof, go watch that Tunnel from Hell sequence. He's pretty goddamn demented. There's no knowing where we're going. I mean, just an absolutely flawless, flawless performance. How about all these set pieces, too? This was some absolutely excellent production design all around, but the sets are what really catches my eye in this department, especially when they go into the factory itself. I mean, the chocolate room, the inventing room, the TV studio, every single set piece is dripping with that delicious roll doll creativity. Every spot is so distinct here. You always know what's going to go down at any given moment. Now, the kids may not know all of what's going down, but... Yeah, these kids sure learn their lesson, don't they? Now, one thing people have been debating for years is this. Did the children survive? I honestly think it leaves a more lasting and jarring impact on the viewer when you aren't sure if they survive. Wonka implies that they do, but it's not like the Tim Burton remake where we actually see the kids leave the factory. While I'm on that subject, though, guys, the way this movie ends is so damn perfect. That whole reversal of Charlie being the one to pass the test, giving Wonka his everlasting gobstopper back, that's all after one of my favorite outbursts in cinema history. So you get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Yeah, picture-perfect writing. Oh, which, speaking of the writing, let, let's just get into the elephant of the room with this. I guess legend has it that the Doll household weren't the biggest fans of this film. I guess there were some who said that it kind of tarnished with his vision and everything. Yet, Doll was given screenplay credits. Uh... And, and then they go on to say that they prefer the remake. Now, I always want to respect other people's opinions, but that's just wrong in that case. The original film is by far and away the superior film. And you want to know why? No, 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 no. Johnny Depp's weak performance is not it. Because in the original, not only are you more entertained by it, but the focus is where it needs to be on Charlie. The remake focuses more on Wonka, oddly enough, because this movie legitimately is a timeless classic. I could still watch it 50 years later, and it doesn't really feel dated. If I were to nitpick on one thing of this film, and I'm not going to downgrade the film too harshly on this, and I'll get to why, but I noticed one little thing on this rewatch that I never quite saw before. You probably all remember the fizzy lifting drink sequence where Grandpa Joe and Charlie are drinking the bubbly, and then they float up towards the ceiling. I noticed on this rewatch that the cables for their their flying effects weren't as well hidden as they probably would have liked. But you know what, guys? This was 1971. They had to get really creative with these special effects and the flying effects specifically, so I'm willing to give that little goof a pass. Because this isn't just me as a critic with rose-colored glasses on. This film really is an instant classic. Happy 50th anniversary. This is one of my all-time favorite films for damn good reasons. I'm absolutely giving Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory... An A plus. <laughs> this is, in fact, my favorite musical film of all time. I could rewatch this thing again and again and again, and I for sure cannot wait to show it to future generations of goalers down the line. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen this film yet, <sighs> boy, you know you guys are missing out on something truly scrum dilly but uh, scrum scrum pat uh, scrum did. Hold, okay, hold on. No, I got this. Scrum diddly. This is all just one guy's opinion. What do you guys think of Willy Wonka? Do you enjoy this? Do you not? I'm also curious, what is your guys' favorite musical film of all time? As you guys know, I love starting the discussion with you about cinema and all things entertainment, so let's just go ahead and continue this discussion down in the comments, shall we? And what the hell, why not? Leave me your favorite Wonka branded candy in the comments, too. That'll be fun. But hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed all my other video- the, 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 the. But hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, if this is your first time visiting the channel today, please do consider hitting the subscribe button down below as hard as you possibly can. You guys will be the first ones to know anytime I upload a new video over here, and it's also free, so it doesn't cost you anything. You can always change your mind later, and one more reminder, guys. 
please feel free to hit that thumbs up on your way out too. That would be delicious. And as always, guys, look out for more exciting content hitting this channel very, very soon. You guys are the best. Thank you all so much for geeking out on this movie with me today. This was super, super fun. And with all that being said, back talk, commence. Yeah.